Hi, and thanks for joining me. I hope you're all having a very good week. It's that time of year again when I clean my stove and my flue pipe. I did show this a couple of years ago, and I think last year I probably mentioned it in a different vlog. But two years ago I did a dedicated vlog on the subject, and it was the first time that I'd cleaned the stove and the flue pipe since I'd bought the boat. And I found something very interesting. There was a part inside the stove that shouldn't have been there. <laughs> now any boaters that are watching, I have a more so squirrel stove and what I'm about to say relates to that. But there was something inside the stove that shouldn't have been there. There are special reasons why it shouldn't be there. They're all discussed in my video number 82 which was entitled Narrowboat Stove and Flue Pipe Clean. That's an original title isn't it? <laughs> if any boaters are interested in knowing what the issue was I suggest you take a look at that particular video because I did quote from the actual manufacturer's instructions about fitting and so forth and it particularly applies to the more so stove where it is installed in a boat. So anyone interested in that please take a look. Meanwhile I hope you enjoy watching. It's that time of year again when I clean my chimney flue. I've got my trusty sweeping brush here. It has rather changed shape. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's been flat on the roof of the boat so um, on this side <laughs> it's gone completely flat. <laughs> anyway it's something I do once a year. Possibly should do it twice a year at the start and end of the season but I've tended to do it once a year. So I'm going to crack on now with it. I should of course say that the chimney is not in very good condition. I've had the boat for three and a half years. I don't know how long the chimney has been on the boat, but it has collapsed inside. It's one of these double insulated chimneys and the inside liner has come out. <laughs> so it's in a terrible state. I have bought a replacement chimney but I've not managed to uh, source yet a replacement cowl. I've actually got one on order, but it's not been delivered. It's a very messy job, so I tidy things away from the stove. It gives me a bit more space to move. Inside the stove, I have left some burnt coals and so forth. Normally, I clean it all out before I start, but it's going to get so messy, I really cannot see the point. I'm ready now to remove the chimney and you'll see what sort of state it's in. This is very loose and inside it's lost everything. There should be a sort of liner in here and that's completely disappeared. A 
I get my trusty brush and I start pushing it down. Well, I'm actually using both ends of the brush. I'm using this end <laughs> and the actual brush itself because with this end I can reach a long way down. There are some crusty bits which are dropping. I can hear them falling into the bottom of the uh, stove, so that's good. So I'll do a bit more with this now. just been to get this. I don't think this end would be much use but uh, this end I can poke down and scratch off some of the crusty bits at the top of the chimney. I've also brought a little screwdriver with me. <laughs> I'll start with the screwdriver I'm cleaning off some of the crusty bits at the top of the chimney I can see the merit of actually using something attached to a drill <laughs> because I don't think this is doing the sort of job that it should be doing. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yes, this is working quite well. This will be much better at the top now, much, much better. Well, that has worked quite a treat, actually. I've really cleaned it up around the top now and using the screwdriver as well for some of the crusty bits which were stuck fast, I've cleaned much of it off. Believe it or not, it's just beginning to rain I did check this morning the forecast and there was no rain due, it was just cloudy. So I'm going to um, get this part finished. I've done all I can with regards to sweeping, so I'm just going to tidy up the roof. I've put the old chimney back on for now. Once I get the Chinaman's hat, I'll put the complete structure on the roof. If that's a while coming, I won't bother. I'll just put the new chimney on. But for now, I'm going to leave it like that. That's this part of the job completed. Did anyone notice that I wasn't using a kneeling pad as I should have done? And I think also I should have worn a mask. Didn't think of it at the time. I am a bit dry. So I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee. The coffee I'm drinking I made for breakfast. It's cold now, but I find black coffee quite acceptable when it's cold, so it's not a problem for me. It's liquid and it's sliding down lovely. There's quite a lot in there, which is pleasing. Look at this. <laughs> this actually looks like part of the chimney liner that I spoke about earlier. Space is really tight, so I'm going to get on, clean out the stove, not worry too much about filming. I may take a few still shots to give you an idea of what's going on. 
that I have put a mask on. Very awkward because underneath these gloves I've got um, the plastic disposable ones, the vinyl ones or whatever, and had to take those off to get this, and then I can't get one on my hand very well, so it's very difficult. I do need an assistant, there's no doubt about it. Oh. <laughs> well, I've cleaned up as best I can inside. I think the final clean needs me to be clean, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh dear. It doesn't matter what you wear, you still get so messy doing this job. Anyway, I'm glad I've done it. I doubt I'll do it for another year. <laughs> I tend to do it annually rather than biannually. I know some people do it at the start and the end of the season but maybe they do it at the end of the season ready for the next season whereas I don't tend to do it that way <laughs> but I'm glad I've got it done it's uh, it's an important job to do and um, well there you go it's done <laughs> well I hope you enjoyed that look at me cleaning my stove and flue pipe many viewers do ask to see more DIY and I certainly classify that as DIY there's an interesting boat coming up behind me. <laughs> lovely sound it's making, really lovely. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. 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 Thanks to you. you. Right up now. <laughs> I've gone where I was now. <laughs> I think I was saying I hope you enjoyed watching. Something slightly different. It's something I do once a year. So I'm not going to dwell on anything, I'm just going to wish everyone all the best. Thank you so much for watching, it does mean a great deal to me. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so and click that little bell to receive notifications of future videos. Meanwhile, look after yourselves, your friends and families, take the utmost care. Until next time, bye for now.